All right, guys. So we have Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and as well rising. A weekly general tarot reading, um, January twenty seventh to uh, February second, uh, twenty twenty on our hands. And um, <clears throat> before we go to the general reading, um, I want you to know that in case uh, you're interested in a personal reading, you can check out the description uh, down below in this of this video. And. Uh, there you can find a, a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase and uh, after that schedule a, a personal reading with me. So that being said, moving into the uh, Aquarius general reading, as um, you already probably know, um, I did an experiment last week and actually it turned out pretty well. People liked it. So this is how we are going to roll from now on to a uh, to a point where it's kind of like boring for everybody. So what uh, this is going to be, I mean, what that reading is going to be, seven cards in a row, no specific um, position for any card. We just go as general as uh, Taro can go. And so for that reason now, uh, let me see if um, it's visible. Yeah, so for that, for that reason now, the first card for you Aquarius of the week, that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. So most likely a person, this is what we do have here. Knights of Pentacles, these are usually people who know what they really, what they really want, excuse me, I would have said what they, and they know what they really know. No, they know what they really want and they're quite determined to get not to get it but to win it there is a, a difference into that to be determined to get something and to be determined to win something so in other words if they don't deserve what they're after then they kind of like are gonna drop off the ambition they have toward it but in this case it doesn't look like it now these people which or that person which is around you they will be quite maybe tenacious but I would say determined for one or another reason regarding something that concerns you it could be you as a general it could be you as a person because the knights of pentacles when we're talking about a um uh, relationships especially uh this car represents jumping into the old branches of love so uh, take that with a grain of salt it could be an ex that comes back and you know tries to make up things um for what they screw up back in the days but the thing once again is that these people they're usually very determined and whatever action they do uh yeah whatever action they do in regards to their goal or toward what they want is quite is supported by a, a strong determination so they give on an expression or impression excuse me that they really want what they are after or in this case they really want you for example or they really want to make up something with you another thing with the knights of pentacles here it is that they are quite simple people uh not like not in a character that is this is uh, not by any means that this is a, a nerd or a retard or something like that these people they just like to take to keep the things simple so you can expect from them to say the things just as the things are you can expect from them as well not to have any kind of let's say surreptitious or nefarious uh, premeditated intentions in regards to what they are going to do in the environment around you you know for example that person say okay i'm gonna call you tomorrow for a cup of coffee it is what they're gonna do there is nothing behind it for them calling you for a cup of coffee it is just a, a cup of coffee if something comes up out of it that's great if it doesn't well they have fulfilled you know their promise let's say that they asked you out for a cup of coffee it is just they keep once again the things as simple as they can and it is quite advisable for you to do the same thing uh, if you do want a, a good enterprise to emerge from that a interaction now the next card that we do have here is going to be the nine of cups and Nine of Cups points this week is going to be quite exhilarating for you, Aquarius. A Nine of Cups, it's like a wish fulfillment. Everybody knows that. But the thing with the Knights of with the Nine of Cups, it is that the progress once made, it's quite unstable from a standpoint that uh, how can I say it? 
um, the happiness one achieves or the relationship that one achieves or the promotion that one achieves uh, for what it is given at that point it is rather short lasting unless one or in this case your queries does not do what it is needed in order to secure it and to make it or to transform it into to transform it into a uh, long lasting happiness love endeavor enterprise and etc etc now why i'm saying that it is because you should not intoxicate yourself with happiness and with a wish fulfillment it's like fullness of life if you will but to have one in mind one in the back of your head that you do have what to re what to expect from now on as well uh, this is how you should take on this card you know the easy part of one's enterprise is to get the enterprise manifested the hard part is to sustain it and this is what we do have here you know so you can take it that way that you are going to reach a certain milestone here of wish fulfillment happiness as well fullness of life ecstasy for some of you um also uh, it's you could say that dream comes true but what you can do in order to sustain that uh, that state that situation all right all well, that's entirely up to you so the the job is far from done uh, if i have to give you an example here you want to start a um a work into specific company that's great you get the chance this week and you are on the uh, on the seventh heaven if you will and what you can do however to sustain yourself there um, do you have what it takes or are you willing to give what it takes to sustain yourself there now that's the thing that's the um the small but very relevant detail about the nine of cups but on the flip side nine of cups points that uh, the grace of the universe is going to be behind your back so it is likely that whatever you touch it's simply going to happen it's simply going to manifest so uh, i do believe that it is a time for a great deal uh, that you have to involve yourself in throughout this uh, throughout this week now the next one uh, here is going to be justice so justice itself points that the week itself is going to be quite busy there are going to be a lot of responsibilities that you need to take on uh, it's very important not to neglect neither of them and the whole situation of the week for your queries will require astute discernment so you can decide which um, endeavor takes priority and which doesn't however that the endeavor doesn't take priority it doesn't mean that you have to neglect it all right it is just reshuffle the structures reshuffle you know your um, your enterprises so you can align them in a such a in a such way that they all can be beneficial and you do have as well a time to attend to all of them so it's like here the, the justice kind of appears like a, uh, a a time management accurate time management that you have that you have to put into your week or you will have the chance to put into your week once again only if you do incorporate your astute discernment in regards to what kind of situations you are facing and as well the justice is a confirmation that justice law and order are going to be in place so whatever the wish fulfillment for you is for throughout this week Aquarius you definitely deserve it because everybody gets what they deserve throughout this week January 27th to February 2nd now <clears throat> once again just one second to regain control over my camera guys and we're going to see what the next card is going to be all about so the fourth one it is the temperance uh temperance it's kind of relates to the justice a lot and it points that there are to be as well a lot of chores okay so many of those responsibilities you have to take on they are going to be chores and now we see why you have to kind of attend to them with um, determination and uh, discernment if you will but the thing with the temperance it is that the chores that are appearing let's say annoying aggravating and that it's kind of like slumbers your spirit they're not going to be that irritating anymore uh, for a solo reason here it is that you alone are going to uh, recognize that those chores need just you you just need to deal with them all right and, and put them aside afterwards once you dealt with them uh, from another standpoint here temperance it's kind of also expresses up your standpoint from a sense of that people are not going to be harsh to you and uh, toward your opinion as well and toward your um 
uh, how can I say, a standpoint. So you aren't going to be judged for what you want to do and how you want to do it. But the best thing about the judgment here, the, the temperance, excuse me, here, uh, in regards to the chores and the responsibilities, it is that you will be able to find the balanced way how to tackle with all that to a point where you neither are going to fall into a state of slumberness nor you are going to burn out as well but slowly but steady uh, you are going to finish the week for what it seems with these cards with pretty good results of what you have accomplished in regards to your relationship in regards to your career as well and most over everything else with this knights of pentacles that came up first into this uh, into this reading you know maybe the chores and the responsibilities are going to appear once that person kind of shows up themselves into uh, your life so the fifth card for you Aquarius is going to be uh, the lovers card and this card could be choice it could be as well love that come around and now it's going to I do believe that is going to be related more than a choice considering the previous follow-up cards here and with the lover's card how the choice stands with the lover's card is that first of all there is no right or wrong decision that is very important to um <clears throat> to acknowledge here because people usually try to find the most accurate way to approach one situation while in this case once again there is no right or wrong decision both ways of how you can approach one thing they kind of carry with themselves a certain circumstances and it all comes to that what kind of a circumstances or consequences for that matter you are willing to handle and the uh, the example that I'm giving here, uh, so I can make my points across more clearer, it is that say you can choose in between two jobs, one of them uh, it is pretty irritating to do but it is very well paid while the other you would love to work but it is very uh, underpaid okay and so there is no there is no right or wrong choice it all comes to what kind of a situation you are in if you have a family to feed obviously you have to do what you have to do so you go with the one that you're gonna hate to work but is going to um St stabilize you financially if you are alone and you don't need much of a money to sustain yourself then you do you are going to choose in favor of what you want to do and you're going to go with the one you you would love to work but it's not going to be that well paid financially the point here with the lovers is that we cannot have all you in you in this case in, in throughout this particular uh, week so you choose carefully based on what kind of a consequences your decision is going to bring to you now this card could refer love as well and if it is about love then it signifies that there are going to be major differences in between the life that your lifestyle and the lifestyle of your lover or of your you know f future lover let's say it that way and it all comes to that can you both love the differences of one another instead of um taking them or um, accepting them as things that drifts you apart. That's the thing with the lovers. The differences are supposed to make you special for one another rather than drift you apart. And uh, what card we are at? So that was the fifth one. So the sixth one here is going to be the Queen of Wands. We do have another person here. Queen of Wands, uh, that appears as a, someone that guides you in this particular uh, in this particular reading and pick points what you gotta do around, uh, because the queen of uh, the queen of wands it is that very capable person who very well understands the human nature in this case your personal nature and knows what you're good at what you can handle and what you cannot handle. It could be your therapist, you know, it could be your business advisor, it could be your boss, or it could be as well your mother. But the thing is that this queen can of like has that as well acute um, not just only business sense but as well a sense of how relationships are to move on or they are going to move on from now on so my, my point here it is that the queen of wands sees things and kind of um, analyze things the way you can't and is going to give you quite of a, uh, a good advice throughout uh, throughout that particular uh, particular week so uh it will be important that you listen to her especially it is because um 
it will be a bit shocking because it seems that uh, just to give you that example uh, she's going she or he because this could be a man as well uh, may tell you uh, you ain't gonna be able to do that you know so why don't you just instead try something different and you say you know how do you know that I can handle it and we, we jump into wrangles here which are rather pointless so try to um, kind of like listen to the advice of the most more experienced one because this Queen, it is definitely more experienced than you are into the field that it gives you uh, guidance into. So the last one here, it is going to be the judgment. And judgment is like a wake up call, guys. Judgment is when uh, you uh, kind of be able to manifest union and or reunion, which again could speak for a X coming around, just as we said with the first card here of the Knights of Pentacles. And if that's the case, then obviously it's about accepting the differences of one another, as we saw with the Lover's card and the decision, am I going to give him a chance, another chance, or am I not going to give him a chance? Once again, there is no right or wrong decision here. It's all about what you can live with after you make your decision. But uh, the very least here with the judgment, many problems or worries that you do have are going to resolve themselves on, on its own accord. It is because the judgment point that everything falls into place or how some elder people are classifying that card, it is when the shaft falls into the hub. So everything starts working out. Uh, the way I like to see at the card, it is when someone uh, is trying to make the best possible or try trying to take the best possible option available for them, but neither of the options they have is kind of like um, acceptable at that particular point and one is wobbling in between one option available and the other option available and oh my god what I should take and suddenly a third option available appears that it is exactly the one that one is waiting for and that is the wake-up call that, ju that the judgment is uh, given to you to take which is going to resolve a lot of your of your current worries that you do have or you're entering into the week uh, with. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your general weekly tarot reading, uh, January 27th to February 2nd, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.